exchange control regulation and facilities concerning export. Exchange control applies to the rules and regulations designed to regulate transactions involving foreign exchange. The objective of the exchange control is primarily to regulate the demand for foreign exchange for various purposes within the limits set by available supply. Exchange control becomes necessary when the country's external reserves are not adequate for meeting its current and potential requirements. In this lesson, we will learn the objectives of exchange control and various provisions of Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 related to regulation and management of foreign exchange and procedures of export declaration forms. The main objectives of the exchange control are to prevent flight of capital, to ensure the availability of sufficient foreign exchange for specific purposes such as meeting the international commitments, to stabilize the external value of the domestic currency, to insulate the economy from external economic pressures. Here, it is a point to be remembered that the basic objective of exchange control in India is conservation of the foreign exchange resources and proper utilization thereof in the interest of economic development of the country. Foreign exchange accrues out of foreign exchange transaction. The regulation and control of foreign exchange implies, therefore, regulation and control of foreign exchange transactions. A foreign exchange transaction is ultimately the purchase or sale of one national currency against another arising out of import or export of goods and services, foreign remittances and foreign travel both inward and outward. The goods refer to raw materials, intermediary or finished products, capital goods, etc. comprising the visible items of a country's foreign trade. Exchange control means official intervention with the foreign exchange of a country. It is a system of rationing foreign exchange among competing demands for it affected by controlling the receipts and payments thereof. The control of receipts aims at centralizing the country's means of external payments in a common pool in the hands of its monetary authorities. Various provisions of regulation and management of foreign exchange include dealing in foreign exchange, holding of foreign exchange, current account transactions, capital account transactions, a person resident in India may hold, a person resident outside India may hold, without prejudice to the provisions of the section, export of goods and services, realization and repatriation of foreign exchange, and exemption from realization and repatriation in certain cases. Persons resident in India, including exporters, are allowed to open and maintain foreign currency accounts in or outside India. Exporters are permitted to maintain exchange earners' foreign currency, EEFC, accounts in India. There is no limit for payment of agency commission on exports. The payment may be either by remittance or by deduction from invoice value. The application is to be sent by letter to an authorized dealer. The limit on remittances in settlement of claims made by overseas buyers on account of compensation for non-fulfillment of contracts, shortage in weight or length, inferior quality of goods, supply penalty for late shipments, etc., has been raised to 15% of invoice value. There is no limit for this amount. Authorized dealers may affect, on behalf of their exporter, constituents, remittances connected with exports like controlling charges, expenses incurred on dishonored or unaccepted bills, legal expenses related to trade disputes, testing charges, etc. Exporters are expected to submit supporting documents for these remittances. A foreign exchange rate, which is also called a forex rate or currency rate, represents the value of a specific currency 
compared to that of another country. Currency rates are applicable only on currency pairs. The currency listed on the left is called the reference or base currency, while the one listed on the right is the quote or term currency. Exchange rates are always written in the form of quotations. A quotation reflects the number of quote currencies that can be bought by using a single unit of reference currency. When an exchange rate is quoted for a currency pair, the currencies are usually quoted in order of their importance. Let us check our progress. Exchange control involves the rules and regulations applicable to all transactions involving right or wrong. Right. A foreign exchange rate is also called currency conversion rate. Right or wrong? Wrong. Exchange control prevents flight of capital. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Exchange control applies to all the rules and regulations designed to regulate transactions involving foreign exchange. The basic objective of exchange control is conservation of the foreign exchange resources and their proper utilization in the interest of economic development of the country. The Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 governs exchange control.